Hey guys, Mars Singen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so thanks to the data download on JP as well as some news updates for Global, we now know that the release of the LR Rosé EZA is coming out uh, today basically so it's very early in the morning UK for me um, when this information came out like 4am you can see on the screen here the uh, Dokkan info site uh, is currently showing in my local time so it says 9 a.m uk time so basically around the time that the androids reveal uh went into the news um, and when the videos and stuff came out yesterday on twitter that is the time that is going to be coming out so basically at the time of recording this uh, i'm going to put this up as quickly as possible but it's 4 30 a.m now um, so this is coming out on both versions in four and a half hours. So not very long to wait. Um, my early stream normally starts at seven and goes until around nine where we see if there's going to be JP news. Obviously, that's when the EZA is then going to come out. So we'll be doing that live on stream as well. So, of course, I wanted to get the team building guide here out while we have time since the event does drop in a few hours. So you can see on the screen here already the weakness is Vegeta family and um, because it is an LR EZA it is just your standard uh, 10 stages. And with all LR EZAs, there is no extra thing that they throw in where like certain typings will do considerably less damage. Um, the main thing that you want to try and do is activate the legendary power link in order to do as much damage as possible. And then Vegeta family is the category that will take the least damage uh, from the attacks, right? So you can run non Vegeta family LRs and they'll still be able to do good damage if you have the legendary power link, but they will take a lot of damage from hits if they are not Vegeta family characters. So if we jump over to take a look at the list, obviously Vegeta family is a much smaller category in comparison to Goku family. This category, I feel like has really needed some seriously strong buffs for a little while because we mainly just get every now and then we'll get one new Vegeta or one new Trunks, but it's like not really enough to save the team. Um, so I feel like the difficulty level of this particular EZA will probably be a little bit lower than um, some of the previous ones, just considering the smaller selection of units that we have to choose from. But as always with my team building guides, I'll go through my top picks and honorable mentions here for building the team. Um, if there's any units that I miss out or you think I should have talked more about, let me know down below in the comment section. And if the guide helps you at all, do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So despite not having an actual proper like Vegeta family leader skill, uh, I feel like the best unit to be your leader is going to be the LR Vegeta and Trunks, right? Not only are they an LR, so activate, get legendary power active, they can do better damage. Uh, they have Bond of Parent and Child or Future Saga. So obviously Bond of Parent and Child covers most Vegetas from like a certain point and then obviously covers the Trunkses as well. Um, there's, I don't think there's many units on the um, Vegeta family category other than the older Vegeta units. Uh, in terms of like the storyline, not older units, right? Um, that aren't on this category. Uh, Future Saga doesn't really have any crossover. There's no Future Saga Vegeta family characters that are not on Bond of Parent and Child. Um, and then the extra 30% goes to Battle of Fate, which of course there are a few units now that have this uh, extra category as well. So they'll get the full 200%. So these guys, if you have them, are absolutely the number one go-to pick. Not only for the leader skill, again, they are an LR, of course, but they're also a very, very good slot one unit. Extreme Z battles have obviously not, you know, gotten to the level of difficulty of some of these newer events. So these guys will be perfectly fine to sit in slot one, uh, tank all of the attacks, get a little bit of build up from getting hit, do a decent amount of damage. Obviously, if you do have a full Future Saga um, rotation, you can get their active skill on turn three, which does damage and give everybody a nice buff. So obviously that is very doable considering all the trunks buffs and stuff like that that we've gotten during this worldwide celebration. So definitely very possible to make a team like that. Uh, I would say these guys are the absolute go-to for your leader. Um, if you don't have them to use, uh, obviously we do have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Bit old now, obviously he got his exclusive skill orbs during the anniversary to give him a little bit of a buff. Uh, he leads Vegeta family for 180%, so technically he is going to be giving those units that are not on Battle of Fate a higher leader skill than the LR of Vegeta and Trunks, but obviously he's not as good of a unit. Um, you know, solid enough with the EZA when he came out, so for an Extreme Z battle, perfectly fine. Um, decent stats, decent numbers for, you know, his time. Those skill orbs will come in handy 
Uh, he's an LR, so he helps to activate legendary power. So he's worth considering bringing on the team anyway, right? Just to be another LR to get that link active. He's not a slot one unit, but even if you're just bringing him for his leader skill, um, you could quite easily have him be a floating unit. And after he supered, his defense is good enough for an event like this. And of course, if he gets supered by the enemy, he does have a 30% chance to counter the super and obviously not only take no damage but do a little bit of damage in return so definitely a worthwhile consideration um one of the probably the second pick right for the leader skill because of the um higher percentage than just a standard 170 um links though i mean you're, there's not going to be any other super saiyan fours i mean there are one or two units you can get saiyan raw uh with which could be kind of useful but uh yeah he's just going to be a solid option for the team and a very good backup leader um, and then, of course, we have Margin Vegeta. So he leads Margin Buu Saga or Vegeta family. And then his extra 30% is to Gifted Warriors. So if you're running a more Vegeta-focused team, uh, then obviously a lot of the Vegetas or most Vegetas are on Gifted Warriors. So you can get more units under the 200% leader skill with this guy than you can with Trunks and Vegeta if you are running mostly Vegeta units, right? Now, obviously, this guy, you want to have a Trunks on the team so that he gets his full passive active, gets his extra damage reduction. Um, I mean, I guess if you want to run, if you have Trunks and Vegeta, the LR, um, you could run them under this guy's leader skill and then run the rest of the team as mostly Vegetas to get the higher leader skill because Trunks and Vegeta can still operate perfectly fine under a 170 lead. That gives this guy the ally with the Trunks name that is very good. But we have some good new Trunks units as well. So I'd probably use this guy as a leader only if you don't have the LR um, because I would probably rather run some of the Trunks units than just run a full Vegeta team to get that extra 30% from Gifted Warriors, but definitely a very viable option uh, to run as the leader. Um, he does have to receive six attacks in order for you to use the uh, final explosion, so unlikely that you'll see that because EZAs you don't usually see a load of the attacks clustered up in one slot, and even if they are, I don't think it's usually going to be... I mean, I guess the RNG is there for it to happen, right? But six in one slot is very unlikely. So even if he's on turn one, you're usually earliest going to see this like turn five, right? And then by then, um, depending on your team build, I guess if you've got no LRs, because remember, I've said this in previous LR team building guides, you can beat these LR EZAs with a full team of TURs. The legendary power link just helps you do extra damage. So it will take longer, but you can do it with a team of TURs. So I guess if you're in that situation, you might get to see the uh, final explosion, which obviously does a bunch of extra damage, um, makes some crit guaranteed for the rest of the turn. Uh, but you do lose a bit of HP, which is a little bit annoying in easy A's because you can't heal, but can be used as a good finisher for like the final turn, for example. Um, and then, of course, we have this guy right here, right? The newest released uh, LR alongside Future Gohan from the end of the Worldwide Celebration. Now, his leader skill is Time Travelers. So there are a few Vegeta family units that are Time Travelers, especially some of the Heroes units, which you know we're going to talk about because it's me. Plus, you know, Vegeta family does have a couple of good heroes units so um one build you could definitely make for this team is to uh, run double trunks um and then run like lr vegeta and trunks because they are a time traveler as well and then run a bunch of the heroes units now the only problem of course with that is you don't have many lrs on the team but that definitely would be a viable way to do this right um, and then the rotation where you do have trunks and vegeta and this trunks i mean this trunks is just going to go nuts right if he has legendary power active and he's getting his additionals he's probably just going to be one turning the rose for multiple of the 10 stages right so this guy very very good just gets off a bunch of additionals does loads of damage builds up as he gets attacks um even in an easy a as we say right not the hardest difficulty so even if you get a turn where he does like one super and a bunch of additional normals you know this isn't the red zone he's not going to get absolutely destroyed on that turn so he'll be perfectly fine um and then of course if you do get to turn five which i guess if you're running the hit build with a bunch of heroes or just a bunch of other turs in general um you're probably likely to see turn five you can then use the standby um but of course you can't trigger it until till, until turn seven so I don't know if you'll see that that often, but I mean, this guy is definitely there as an option. I mean, if you have this guy, regardless of who you're running as the leader of the team, he is on Vegeta family. He is an LR. He's got type advantage. He's just going to he, like he's a must run on the team if you have him. Right. So definitely this guy, if you do have him. 
Uh, then we have the uh, STR Super Vegeta. I thought I'd give this guy a mention. Shout out to him. Blast from the past. He has a pure Saiyans lead. So if you really are struggling for leads for the team, you could run a full Vegeta team under this guy's leader skill. He does get guaranteed crits on his super attack. So he can do some okay damage. Um, his defense is not the best. It's obviously better post super. But again, this, you know, easy A's don't hit super hard. So this guy could be a viable option for the team. He has a pretty decent link set. So, you know, he can be there to help out a little bit and can be a fill-in leader if you just desperately need it. I guess Mastered Evolution has some of the, um, it's like, is Super Trunks on this one as well? Because Super Vegeta is, I think so. Yeah, yeah, Super Trunks is on here. So obviously you can still get some Trunkses uh, on the team. There is the physical Super Trunks. I haven't really put him on here, but I guess he could get an honorable mention if you're running this guy. Um, then we have the uh, LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. So he has a worthy rivals lead, which covers a bunch of Vegetas, but he's more so an honorable mention to put on the team because he is a physical LR. Obviously he doesn't have his easy A yet, but... I mean, you could deliberately go for the 12 key that gives him his defense. But, you know, again, as I'll say, easy A is not super hard. I mean, this guy getting hit by a super in like the, you know, stage 10, he probably would take some damage, right? But he's got type advantage. He's got legendary power active potential. And then, yeah, you know, he's going to be a straight up solid addition for your team. Uh, then we have the LR Physical Trunks, uh, again, much like the Angel Vegeta, bit old now, uh, even though this one does have his easy A, but this is an event perfectly suited for him, right? He can stack attack for a few turns on super, you know, his defense isn't, uh, sorry, defense, I should say, stacks defense. His defense isn't the greatest, but he's an LR with type advantage on the category. I mean, he's just going to be a solid addition to the team. Not the best unit there, but definitely not the worst. Um, definitely a worthwhile honorable mention. Uh, then we have this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who is a physical unit. He can be relatively good defensively. Uh, he has a medium chance to guard, but we've got type advantage already anyway. Uh, it's high chance when you're... Uh is a high chance of guarding all attacks? Oh, if you're 60% or less HP. But again, the guard's not going to matter too much. But he has 40% damage received when guard is activated. So the way this is supposed to work, right, is because he is physical, it doesn't matter if the RNG from his passive goes off. When he gets hit by an in enemy, he will be guarding. So he will have 40% damage reduction. So this guy can be a worthwhile defensive unit against um, the Rosé. Uh, his link set is not the best, but, you know... I always hate it when they give these, uh, especially Vegeta's, it happens a lot, but these Super Saiyan 3 units that don't get over in a flash. But um, he can be a solid addition, honorable mention for sure. Um, and then the Heroes units. So we've got the physical Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta. Um, he was pretty solid. Like his Easy A is pretty solid in terms of being able to do some decent damage numbers. His defense was never really that great. So in an event like this, where you don't need crazy levels of defense, uh, this guy can be pretty good. He can do a pretty solid amount of damage. We've already mentioned, like, even though the previous Super Saiyan 3 doesn't have over in a flash, we've got Super Saiyan 3 units on the team. We've got units like Margin Vegeta that do have over in a flash. Um, so this guy can be pretty useful. Uh, we also have the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Now, obviously, for him on this team build, it's going to be pretty much impossible for him to have a full Super Class Giant 8 Power or Dragon Ball Heroes rotation unless you are running like the full heroes build with like two trunkses or something or i guess you can just run this guy right because he has a hero's leader skill so I, I should have mentioned that at the beginning i suppose one viable option is you just run this guy if you can find a friend and then just run a full vegeta family heroes team but then of course you won't have any lrs uh, but yeah this guy can put out some decent damage um, and he has obviously um saiyan raw so if you are running the lr super saiyan 4 vegeta like let's say you get a rotation where you get your you know double lr vegeta and trunks uh you've got the um lr super saiyan 4 vegeta in slot 2 and then this guy in slot 3 that lr super saiyan 4 vegeta in the middle is going to have legendary power active and have saiyan raw active so he's going to be able to do uh, a pretty decent amount of damage. So this guy's a worthwhile consideration, while definitely not a top tier pick for the team. Uh, we also have this guy who is a giant 8 power unit as well. Um, I didn't mention many tech units just because, you know, even though they're not getting the big damage reduction like some EZAs do, he's got type disadvantage. You're not fighting a Goku. I mean, he does have guard. So, I mean, there could be some use for this guy, but... Even with Legendary Power active, unless you're critting, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage. But, you know, he has Saiyan Raw, he's on Giant 8 Power. He could be 
worthwhile considering if you're running the LR Super Saiyan 4 and maybe the Limit Breaker, but I probably wouldn't run him personally. Uh, then we have this guy. This guy's probably the top pick for the Heroes units, because even if you're running no other Heroes units, the Super Saiyan Xeno Vegeta is a 40% support unit for Vegeta family. So if you're running a bunch of LRs and you have them linked together in slot 1 and 2 to get Legendary Power, this guy is then going to be giving them 40% extra attack. So they're going to be able to do a pretty significant amount of damage. And he stacks, so if he gets a couple of supers off, then you know he can tank the normals easily um, and shouldn't get one shot by a super. Maybe in stage 10 he would if uh, he's not built up at all, but... Yeah, definitely a worthwhile addition to give support to your other units. Uh, then we have Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. Uh, he's aged quite badly, I think. Like, in some of the new really difficult events, even if he guards, he takes a lot of damage. But, as we've said many times, Stream Z battles, not super, super hard in terms of, like, the top tier content. So this guy, if he's getting his guard active, will be able to tank very well. Uh, he is another Super Saiyan 3, so if you are running any of the other ones, they're going to be able to get all those links. Like, unironically, even though there's no legendary power, so it's not the most optimal, a rotation of this guy and then the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in slot 2 um, would go pretty well in this EZA, right? So that's worth considering. And then lastly, for the heroes, there is the Dark Mask King, that is obviously King Vegeta. Uh, he heals based on the damage he does, which is nice for an EZA because you can't use items. Although sadly, because he is quite aged, he's getting his EZA this year. So he's literally, what, like just over a month away from getting it. But he doesn't have it yet. So he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he does heal you. As long as there's another hero's ally on the same turn, he has guard. So he can defend reasonably well. Um, so he's worth considering, obviously, if you're running the hero's build. If you were just running a straight up Vegeta family team. I mean, firstly, he doesn't get guard without another hero's unit. But even if you were just, say, running like Xeno Veg Super Saiyan Vegeta as a support, I probably wouldn't run this guy because they need him on rotation. Um, there's obviously much stronger options, but if you're running a full or mostly full heroes build, this guy definitely can be very useful for some extra healing for free. Um, and then we have these guys. I thought I'd give them an honorable mention, even though, you know, I was one of the people absolutely shocked and appalled by how bad their EZA was. But, I mean, I guess if the, as long as they're not getting hit by a super, they are tanking all the normal attacks and then, you know, doing counter damage. So that can help you get through some of the stages a little bit quicker. But they're not an LR. So like, especially early on, like their counters are not going to do a lot of damage. But I thought I'd throw them in there as an honorable mention. We also have this guy, right? Got his uh, EZA, the free to play domain trunks. Um, you can use the domain when there is a time traveler enemy. So you can use this straight away against the Rosé. Um, and then, of course, he has a uh, high chance to crit against him. He also gets um, extra attack and defense per Future Saga ally in the turn, which we've already talked about units like Vegeta and Trunks, the new LR Trunks. So this guy can be pretty good on the team build if you are using a lot of these newer units. Um, and then, yeah, you can domain straight away, which gives future class super enemies and allies attack and defense 10%. So those new, like, units are all getting these big buffs. Like, imagine you are running that rotation where you have LR Vegeta and Trunks and the new LR Sword of Hope Trunks. And then they're both getting an extra 10% attack and defense. So they're going to absolutely shred this Rosé. So this guy's worth bringing as kind of like a support unit, as long as you are running Future Saga units. And then for JP players, because obviously we don't have him on Global, I thought I'd mention this Super Trunks. I feel like he's not going to be very good here, right? He's got type disadvantage. Um, you know, there are a bunch of new Android slash Cell Saga characters from the Worldwide Celebration, but not many of them are Vegeta family, right? Because we got a bunch of the new Future Saga from Super, like Trunkses, who aren't on this category. So I thought I'd mention this guy um, because you could use him, right? You could use him as a leader. You could make a decent 200% team with him with a bunch of Trunkses. But I just don't think overall he is a very good unit for this event. But he could make a stand-in lead if you're a JP player. You don't have some of the other better options. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't go for him. So going back to the category, um, I didn't really mention like the free-to-play Prime Battle LR Trunks could still be useful just as another LR. Uh, Martian Vegeta with his EZA. I mean, he's not the craziest, but he is another LR. Uh, the Exchange Vegeta, again, he's aged a little bit, but he could probably still hang in there. I don't know about Prime Battle Vegeta too much. Uh, this, ba this Super Battle Road Trunks does get all of his buffs from a Vegeta family team, so he could be 
fairly decent, I suppose. And then Blue Evolution Vegeta. I mean, obviously, he's not really great. He wasn't. He didn't. He aged quickly after he came out. But he is another Vegeta family LR. I just didn't want to go through all the LRs just for the sake of them being LRs, because some of those ones I just mentioned, I don't really think are very worthwhile running. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I didn't mention any of the tech units. Like this Vegeta could make a decent support. Uh, God Trunks, if you are running the Heroes build, otherwise I would not bring him. Uh, Buller can be a good support unit, but obviously you'll be relying on her to dodge because she has type disadvantage. Um, the one unit I did miss out, I guess, is the EZA for the STR Rage Trunks. Uh, he obviously can be pretty good. We're fighting a Realm of Gods enemy, because, so he'll get a guaranteed additional super. Um, so he actually could be a very solid addition. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, funnily enough, the old one, actually, will still be a solid tank in these events, right? Because he has his damage reduction for 10 turns. So there are a few extra TURs that would be worthwhile. But um, overall, as you can see, like the category is pretty restricted. So I think I went through some of the best uh, picks and honorable mentions from the list. But like I said, let me know, right? So if there's any units you think I missed or I should have talked more about, let me know. Um, and let us know down below in the comment section what your team is going to look like for the LR Rosé Extreme Z battle. And yeah, hopefully I will see you over on the stream as we go through the stages live. Get him awakened. I'll probably record the showcase for him live on stream to go up on the channel a little bit later. So if you want to catch all of that stuff live as it happens... Uh, do come out to the stream. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.